been What's up, you guys? Welcome to the morning slide. We have issues. As y'all can tell, bitch, issues. I had and another rough night. Sitting opposite I'm so I am most definitely calling my doctor my this morning and telling him. Run me that motherfucking order for my fucking x-ray so we can figure out what the fuck this shit is cuz like These motherfuckers got me popping goddamn muscle relaxes every fucking like three times a day and shit I don't know what the fuck it is cuz listen the other day I had a drink for the first time in a while Cuz I haven't been drinking anymore right not like that. I'm not gonna say I haven't been drinking anymore Bitch, I don't know what the fuck alcohol does. It must reverse all of the motherfucking work that the medicine was trying to do to make you feel better. Bitch, I start drinking that motherfucking alcohol. I'm talking about this whole shit was throbbing so bad, bro. I wish I'd have never touched that alcohol at all. Like, what the fuck, mo? Yeah, y'all, like, I literally can't take this shit no more. Like, I got to school another day. And kids are grabbing me by the hand and they're going, Miss Henson, look, there was a shootout last night. Pointing to the bullet holes in the walls of their school, laughing. We're expecting these children to come from traumatic experiences at home. Oh, yeah, Taraji grew up school and in D.C. And it's just not fair. I'm about to say, shit, I grew up around Edgewood Terrace and shit like that. No good or goddamn well. I've seen too many shootouts. Fuck that. I believe Taraji is on the radio. Um, She was here in my city. I believe talking to people about mental health and shit like that. And mental health is a very serious topic because I'm not even going to hold you. Like, I deal with depression, like, seriously. But the thing is, is that I know that I deal with depression and shit like that. I know when to tap out and be like, listen, let me go call my best friend or let me let me talk to somebody. Or I, I can feel when my depression is coming on like typically y'all see how i am i'm very silly good like when i be depressed i don't talk like i be mute and for anyone that know me that is not red you know what i'm saying so for me to be around no expression of emotion just like dumb ass quiet it makes everyone around me uncomfortable and i don't like that i don't like the feeling of Feeling like the world is on your shoulders, on your back, and you just got so much pressure on your mind, on your heart. And it's just like your body goes numb. It's like it almost don't feel anything. Or it's like you wake up every day and you just sad for no fucking reason. And you don't know why you're sad. Like, you know, in general, what's been going on with you, what could trigger you to be sad. But no one should wake up in the morning feeling like they want to cry feeling hopeless and things like that and sometimes life can like get to you and if you don't assess and address these emotions and things that you're feeling you could go downhill quick and i'm just thankful every day that i'm strong enough that like i said i don't have no problem saying i got a certain level of crazy in me bitch no problem saying that I am not 100% okay at all of the time. You know what I'm saying? I have certain things and certain triggers that make me fucking tick tick boom on your ass. So if I tell you to don't to leave me the fuck alone, I don't want to talk about certain things or that certain things trigger me or for certain shit going on in my life and you see a drastic change in my emotion, don't just sit there and let me leave her the fuck alone. Ask somebody, are you okay? You understand what I'm saying? Because that's the thing with the black community. And that's one thing that Taraji P. Henson just said. Like, black black people, they feel like we don't go through no mental health issues. That we don't go through depression. Only thing you're supposed to do is run to God and pray it out. And I'm not saying that that's not the answer. That is most definitely the answer. However, you need you can't run to the church house out. You can't run to the church house and, and find God that way. You got to have yourself to have a self-reliant relationship with God where you and him are back to back and y'all rely on each other like that it's like no one else can come in between your relationship you don't need nobody you ain't got to go to no church house I mean go to the church house because you want to go to church house but in regards to you committing yourself to wanting to change and be a healthy sound body and mind and getting your trinity together like that's something 
You need to go to God directly about going to the church house, playing, praying, dancing, listening to music, and, and, and falling all out on the floor. When you leave that church house and you go back into your fucking house and you're in the skin that you're in by yourself, that shit, that shit is like, I, I'm, I promise you. Because there's, there's a lot of times where I be going through shit and it's like I just be needing someone to talk to, but like as soon as I get off of the phone with them and I got to deal with me, I sink back. I sink back into that deep depression and it's like, for me personally, when I'm going through depression, I have to constantly keep myself busy because if I stop and settle in with these emotions and shit that I'm dealing with inside. It's just not a good thing. So anyone that's dealing with mental health or depression issues, my heart goes out to you guys. You gotta be strong. Like you, it's it's, it's something that I don't know about for nobody else. Me, but see, I'm a Scorpio. So like another reader just said that shit. Like when Scorpios are going through shit, we go to the darkness. You know what I'm saying? Like a Scorpio, that's just like when I used to be younger and I had a fear of needles. Typically, people would turn their head away. I have to look at it coming. You see what I'm saying? The only way I can get an injection in is if I see what is about to hurt me. You see what I'm saying? So, any type of pain that I deal with, I face it. It's just like, okay, in order for me to get over my ex, I'm going to tell y'all what I had to do. And it might sound crazy to someone else, but this is how I process things and this is how I deal with things. First off, it was certain shit that I already knew about because the motherfucker was sloppy. But I had to look at and face every day the things that this person did that hurt me. This motherfucker went behind my back and was talking to one of his family members, baby mothers or some shit like that. This nigga was a fucking... That's how low this motherfucker was. He was fucking one of his cousins, fucking baby mothers. That's what I caught this motherfucker doing. Like, I caught this motherfucker real time. Like, tuh, talking to this bitch. Like, so I took screenshots of this shit, right? Sending this shit to him, like, so this ain't you asking your cousin's fucking wife or your cousin's baby mother to send a picture of her titties? This is not you, right? So, when now that was just one of several bitches okay that was just one of several bitches but that was the tangible proof that i had of evidence of him doing me dirty so like when i just decided enough was enough i made myself look at that shit every fucking day cry 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 to this shit i could not cry no more like it's like Face what hurts you. Face what is paining you. Keep, like, I don't know, like, that's sick. It's sick. It's like self-torture, but I torture myself with this shit till it didn't hurt no more and it didn't bother me no more. So, yeah. And that shit had no fucking effect on me. No fucking more. That shit didn't bother me. No fucking more. None. That's just like with needles. Like, people that are scared of needles, they can't see it coming. No, I want to see everything coming to me. <laughs> I want to see the pain. I want to be able to process that shit mentally before I can process that shit physically. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I'm making any motherfucking sense to y'all, but it makes all sense to me because I do this shit all the time. I don't know why I do this shit, but it's just the way I process shit. It's the way I process shit. Like, when I, get, when I go through depression... I get real, like if y'all go down my Instagram page, like go down years. You could look at my Instagram page and be like, oh, this bitch crazy. Probably I am. If you push me, like everybody fucking, I am a very nice person. However, you're not gonna keep playing with me though, Slam. I go back down my timelines. That's why I hate motherfucking Facebook. Um, flashbacks or whatever the fuck it is because it shows you like where your mind was at five years ago or whatever the fuck it is i can tell when i was going through some type of emotional and mental depression based on how dark the shit is that i post you know what i'm saying anytime my favorite saying is i am the darkness i am the light i am 
the phoenix i am scorpio i am the darkness i am the light i am phoenix i am scorpio that is my saying i like that is my saying i'm gonna put that on something i'm gonna put that on like a shirt or something like that because like that saying means everything to me because in order to understand me you got to understand that i am the dark i am the light i am a phoenix i am scorpio i will burn and kill my old self and rise anew still i rise it don't matter what i go through still i rise so anyone that's going through any type of depression mental health issues know that shit know that shit it's like sometimes you gotta burn away layers of your old soul so that you can you know build new skin tougher skin if i'm making any sense so if you see anyone that is typically really really happy and they're just very quiet emotionless like and another thing is the eyes is the gateway to the soul i believe they say me personally i could look at someone's eyes but see i'm an empath i don't even i could just be around you and i could feel all your emotions and i hate that shit but when you look in someone's eyes you could tell what the truth is because they can tell you that, that they're okay but look in their eyes you could really tell see that darkness when you look in their eyes you can see that emptiness or if you see someone they acting weird have you ever seen someone it's like they're staring through something like even like a wall like you ever seen someone like they be so entranced in their thought and they're just like staring at the wall but it's like they're not even staring i don't even think that these motherfuckers are looking at the wall these motherfuckers are in their mind fixated on something you see what i'm saying if you see people like having that out of body experience like that just like hey you want me to get you something more or, you know what i'm saying find a, a a nice way to approach them like and another thing don't don't go and be like are you okay because that could be a trigger for them too and they might not open up to you and whatever like be light like go over there be like hey bitch what you think about oh girl you must have got some good good last night what you over there think about you daydreaming mm. you know what i'm saying like do something to make them laugh you know that's my thing you know what i'm saying that's how i approach life i always try to put a smile on everybody's face like because you never know what the fuck people are going through like a smile could like uplift their spirit so fucking much you don't know how many people tell me like slim you dumb and shit like i was just going through some fucked up ass shit in my head but your stupid ass always come around here acting fucking stupid you so fucking crazy like thank you <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like i get that all the fucking time however when i'm going through that shit don't nobody ever do that shit for me i have to make myself smile that's what started the morning slide that is what started the morning slide y'all it's because i was going through depression i had to find something to make me laugh something to make me smile every day and i got on youtube and y'all motherfuckers weren't funny enough for me bitch sorry and that's not to be motherfucking shady but on youtube on the sector youtube that i'm on because i don't watch a lot of I don't watch white youtube i was about to say i don't watch a lot of uh fucking white youtubers i don't because i don't know any of them except for if they're tarot card readers i love them shout out to tyler tarot shout out to case of moon y'all the best motherfuckers out in the street smoking nigga past the j nigga past the duchy but when it came down to me going through something and i just needed something to take me out of my reality make me laugh make me feel lighter and shit like that the only people that I could go to for that, I want to say, was Funky Dineva, Sweet Addictions TV, and A Connection TV. Motherfucker, Mona Suffer. Oh, oh, Mona Simone. Bitch, I fucking love Wesley. Oh, I love Wesley and Curtis. Oh, if y'all know who Wesley and A Connection TV is, and if y'all don't know who Curtis is, oh. Now, I know I would never be able to see Curtis because Curtis ain't for me. Curtis ain't for she. Mm. But it be for we when he be posting them pictures, bitch. Oh, Wes. Wes. I don't give a fuck if Wes from A Connection TV is gay or not. He is a whole ass man. And I appreciate a sexy whole ass man. I could look at a whole. I could look at a man. I don't give a fuck if he gay or straight and say, honey, 
You got the body of a god. Boy, if Wes was to ever decide to switch over. <laughs> Wes, I have no judgments. Nigga, call me. <laughs> okay. Wes sexy ass to take me right the fuck on out my depression, bitch. I'm talking about ASAP Rocky, nigga. That nigga find it a motherfucker. Dead ass serious candy from Sweet Addiction TV. She, like, uh, uh, probably a lot of the way that I talk. What the fuck do she say all of the time that I know I got that shit from her and it's not that a bitch trying to steal her sweat. I've been watching these motherfuckers for years. I've been watching Candy since I was like and I've been watching Candy since it was Candy and Skittles. So bitch, I've been like God I'm forgetting like what she says all of the fucking time and I know I say it all of the time. And it's just a part of who the fuck I am and how I talk now. Because, like, Candy is my big sister. I fucking love Candy and Skittles from Sweet Addiction TV. Like, they are The Scorpion Show, Sweet Addictions TV, A Connection TV, Funky Dineva was my childhood. My motherfucking... Me coming out of high school all the way up through adulthood, I still watch them to this day. They are like, shut the fuck out. Yeah. Again, if y'all don't know who they are, Wes from A Connections TV, okay? The Scorpion Show, Funky, Dineva, and Sweet Addictions TV. If y'all don't know who they are, y'all don't motherfucking know me and y'all need to get y'all life together. Bitch and much love from Kentucky Bitch Now you talk about a nasty Motherfucking southern breed down Bitch on some TV show Y'all listen don't do me right now Pan homage to All of the ones that have just Fucking rocked YouTube bitch Y'all don't yeah Daniel son y'all is the one Y'all were the ones that got me through a whole Lot of fucking shit Cause everybody else just was not cutting it These motherfuckers was not funny Or at least I did not know about them And eventually years later I found out about my Fucker beloved James Caldwell and when I found out about him, I realized, nigga, I was two years too late. Because this nigga been, I mean, what I'm trying to tell you, bitch, I binged watched James motherfucking Caldwell and his motherfucking um, bingo fucking stories up in the bingo with the bitch begging for a bag of chips. Listen to me. When I tell you, I was going through some shit. I think I just lost my job around then. Right? And like, I was just trying to figure out life. I had never been unemployed in my life, bitch. So I was just trying to figure shit out. When I'm trying to tell you, me watching that motherfucking James. <laughs> and his story times up in that bingo hall, bitch. Or doing, or doing prom dresses and shit. Honey, I'm trying to tell you. You get to dive into these people's world and... You get lost in their reality and it makes you feel new. It's just like, that's my best friend. Like, I was just talking to my best friend or something like that. And it makes you go back into your reality feeling good because you feel like you were just with your best friend. Even though these are people that you just watched on YouTube, you don't know them. But I swear the joy and the light that I would get coming from these videos, coming from those safe havens of joy and inspiration like and I, i'm gonna be honest with you james caldwell like i don't know like because james when he was on youtube when he got on youtube he was going through cancer he was going through chemo or whatever the fuck you know if you're going through depression if you're going through a hard time in life you got to find an outlet or something that makes you happy, that makes you smile, that makes you feel worth living. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and not saying that nobody felt like fucking killing themselves. But that's what I was meaning to say earlier. I thank God every day that I am not one of those people because I know a lot of people like that. And I have to talk my friends. Don't go that far because these motherfuckers be talking about offing themselves. I've never been through anything in my life. I've never experienced a breakup. I have the people I know 
they be ready to kill themselves over because a nigga don't love them more. I have, I have not, no disrespect to any of my exes. I have not met one man ever in this life that will make me feel like because they don't want to be with me that I want to kill myself. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Mental health is serious. There are some people that their chemical makeup that could be from something hereditary, they're not able to handle and process things like that. And they might not know how to they they just don't know. You understand what I'm saying? And it's some and a lot of times when you don't understand what you're going through inside, why you're having these feelings, why your emotions are going that deep, why you're going that dark. You truly don't know. And if you don't have an outlet, if you don't have a resource, the easiest thing for you to think about is just killing yourself. I thank God every day that my chemical makeup is not that of someone where depression, sadness, or whatever I'm going through, I go that far. I know many people that go that far, that feel like, and they're down on themselves a lot. They, they, they're down on themselves. They're like, I'm a fuck up. I can't do anything right. Maybe the world is just better with me not being here. It's not. Please don't ever say that. Please don't ever say that. Please don't ever say that. If James Caldwell going through cancer could find love and light in himself and get on YouTube throughout his sickness and bring joy to other people's life, don't ever think that you don't bring joy. Regardless of what you're going through, don't ever think that when people see you, you don't bring joy into their life. Because one of my good girlfriends, she be having her little moments and shit like that, and, and she be like reds, like for real. The way I was thinking, just the where my train of thought was going, it just wasn't good. And I looked at that bitch. If it wasn't for this bitch, I would not even be doing tarot right now. Like, seriously, like, I told her what I wanted to do, and she encouraged me to do that. I love this girl so much. And if she was to ever, and I mean fucking ever hurt herself, ever, like, that would, God, I feel like I'm going to cry right now just even thinking about that shit. Like, that shit would destroy me. And, like, God know, like, I really feel like I'm going to cry. Like, please take mental health seriously. I'm sorry, y'all, because I did just got um, get emotional because I'm be having these talks with a lot of people. And... Like, they be having to have these talks with me when they be seeing me going through shit. But it's like, depression is serious. It's serious. And I don't want people to think that just because you and your chemical makeup won't push you that far to thinking about killing yourself. When you hear people tell you, like, I wasn't thinking good things. Take that fucking shit seriously. I mean it. Take that fucking shit seriously. People don't play now. And, and I'm going to say another thing. For you guys that use suicide and, and, and shit like that as means of control. If you leave me, I'm going to kill myself. Go kill yourself. I'm sorry. Because you don't deserve to live. I know that that was harsh. But... What you need to understand, little motherfucker, is that art imitates life, bitch. You keep walking around saying that shit, you're going to do it one day. You are manifesting your own suicide into this life. People need to watch what the fuck they say out their motherfucking mouth. And I'm sorry, that shit just made me fucking mad. That shit just made me motherfucking mad. Because I know people. And it's because of mental health issues and they need to go get help. And I get on their motherfucking ass every time they do that. Just because someone doesn't want to be with you, you don't go and threaten to fucking kill yourself and try to hold someone fucking captive. And like I said, you keep speaking that treachery into the universe. One day, your brain is going to force you to do it. And before you realize what the fuck you've done, it's going to be too late. Because you keep speaking that shit in the atmosphere. Watch what the fuck 
you say and that is a form of control and that is a form of abuse to threaten to kill yourself so someone does not leave you you my friend are signing your own death certificate okay every time that you say that out your mouth you might as well do it because you are putting yourself an inch and an inch and an inch and an inch and an inch closer to that destiny so be careful what the fuck you say out your mouth because art imitate life Art imitates life. Like I keep telling, trying to tell people, use your tools wisely. Watch what you think. Watch what you say. Watch what you listen to. Watch your heart's intentions and watch what the fuck you write down. Those are tools. Those are petitions to the universe. Do you understand me? They are, uh, listen, they are petitions to the universe. Keep threatening to kill yourself behind what another motherfucker don't want to do that satisfies your principles of life and see what happens. That's another thing that I've had to deal with where I've seen people deal with bouts of depression because they're with a crazy ass motherfucker that's mental health and needs to go seek mental health that won't because they're black and black people don't have mental health issues. Yes, the fuck we do. What the fuck? Like, listen, I've had people that are my family members and friends that were in toxic abusive controlling manipulating ass situations and they wanted to get out of it but they were scared to leave because this crazy motherfucker was walking around with knives threatening to kill themselves I need people to take mental health seriously because we just talked about two different extremes of mental health. We talked about mental health of people just not knowing how to help themselves. And then you talk about then you talk about mental health where they're using their mental health to harm others. I wasn't even planning on coming on here and talking about mental health, but they were already talking about it on the radio. And I believe God wanted me to talk about this today. If you're going through something. Find something to make you smile. Find an outlet. Find happiness. And guess what? Just like I did. If you watching or engaging in whatever this is, if it finds joy and happiness in your heart, why don't you try it yourself? I was going through something. Me watching the Scorpion show, A Connection TV, Sweet Addictions, James Caldwell, and Funky Dynamic. It brought joy into my life. When I went through a second bout of depression, I said, let me try this myself. It brought James joy. It might bring me joy. You guys message me every day and be like, bitch, you fucking crazy as shit. Thank you. I needed that lab. Now I'm being that healthy dose of medicine that help bring joy to somebody else. You never know. Sometimes your stresses, your pressures, your anxieties. It may push you to your destiny if you allow it to be the fuel to your fire, to your fire, to be that phoenix. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes we have to get rid and kill off layers of who we were. We gotta shed our skin and rise as a phoenix. We birth, we knew. You know what I'm saying? So whatever it is that's plaguing you, whatever it is that's bothering you. If you're not strong like me <laughs> where you can literally look at it and face it process it to where it don't hurt no more if you can't do that because I'm not advising y'all I said I embrace my crazy I know my level of crazy I know who the fuck I am so I'm able to handle that I'm able to handle looking at pictures of my ex cheating in, in visual oh because his little bitch that he with now she she made it she made a purpose she purposed because i didn't go looking for that shit she intentionally did shit because she wanted to rub it in my face that she was she she thinks she took my man <laughs> how you feel about it now bitch <laughs> i looked at that her making that visual announcement to me i looked at that shit too every day i looked at that ugly ass bitch i said oh did this nigga left me for this ugly ass bitch <laughs> that was my entertainment are you not entertained <laughs> gonna hold you at first it hurt shit i'm not see i'm not because <laughs> y'all know i'm petty fucking petty i'm not 
Because I was about to say, y'all should see what this bitch look like. But I'm not going to do that. Because I don't even have access to the little stupid ass bitch no more. I erased all of that shit. Any of that shit, listen, I faced my pain to the point where it didn't hurt me no more. And now I have no access, no acknowledgement, none of that shit. I laugh. When people come and tell me about that shit, I laugh. And I try to help myself from stop laughing because I don't want to get no bad karma from laughing at these fuck niggas. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, whatever it is, especially if it's relationship shit, sometimes you just need to face it. You understand what I'm saying? Recognize this motherfucker don't love me. Let me love me. Get the fuck over this shit and lead that motherfucker to his devices. They'll destroy themselves. Trust me. Don't you dare ever in your motherfucking life. I'm not saying that you won't go through no depression about no breakup. Everybody has a heart. Everyone has feelings. Don't think that you exempt to feeling emotions. Okay? And another thing I'm going to tell y'all. From experience, trying to bottle in and hold down your emotions and, and not feel shit, that's going to make you explode. Don't do that. That's really going to make you go crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Find an outlet. Find a resource. Talk to somebody about what you're feeling. If you're a Scorpio, if you're like me, when I'm going through shit, I don't want to deal with nobody. I just, I want to be alone. I go into the darkness. I face my darkness and I come out to the light. That's me. Okay? How, whatever you got to do, if you need to go to a counselor, going to do Zumba, just doing something physical sometimes. Give yourself a new hobby, something that you enjoy doing. It'll take your mind off of it. It'll make you feel new. It'll make you feel revived, refreshed. Do something that helps you. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe getting your body physically fit is getting your mind fit. And another thing, when you're going through depression, pay attention to what you're eating. Because if you're not eating, that's another thing that I used to do. When I used to be going through depression, I would go days and not eat. That's fucking up your chemical imbalance with your brain. And that's why you're thinking about killing yourself and doing crazy shit like that. You have to eat. You have to give your body nourishment so you can think right and everything like that. If y'all got... If y'all need to talk, if y'all going through some depression and shit like that, just email me. Put in the um, comments depression so I can know to put you a priority. But um, especially the black community, please take mental health very seriously. It's not a joke. Um, everybody ain't as strong as you. Everybody ain't as strong as you. So my heart goes out to everybody. Shout out to Taraji. One of DMV's own. Um, thank you so much for all of the blessed work that you've been doing in this community. And I love y'all. I've been talking too long. I'm going to hop off. But um, go make somebody smile today. Go hug somebody, all right? Gotta thank you for it. Trust me.